EHRP wide metric. Now in this section, we'll talk about EHRP wide metric, which was introduced by Cisco in the new EHRP name mode configurations. Now, before we get into the EHRP wider metrics, let's get into some of the some of the basics of uh, EHRP metric. What we have learned in the classic EHRP. Now, in case of classic EHRP, the metric is 32-bit address, 32-bit uh, metric, which is uh, which includes the bandwidth, delay, load, M2, and reliability. And even by default, it uses bandwidth K1 is one, K3 is one. Remaining all values are zeros. So, which means they are not used in the metric calculations. And if you want to change the bandwidth or the delay, we can go on that particular interfaces and we can change the bandwidth. And the delay has to be given in terms of tens of microseconds, which means the minimum delay uh, we can configure. Uh, if, even if I give delay of one, in that case, it will take tens of microseconds. And then the bandwidth, uh, it depends upon the link speed. We can even change that. And the default metric formula is, uh, you can see the formula here, EHRP metric is equal to K1 into bandwidth plus K2 into bandwidth divided by 26 minus load. Now this is the formula used uh, generally by normal EHRP. We call it as a classic EHRP. Now there are some of the major drawbacks with this one. And let me just uh, tell you what, how it's going to consider the bandwidth in case of classic. If there is, a, if there is overall bandwidth of T1 line, 1.5 Mbps, 1.5 Mbps, and then 64 Kbps, it's going to consider the overall bandwidth, the minimum uh, through the path and the overall delay it's going to consider as the total sum of all the delays it is going to take as uh, 6000 here 2 plus 2 plus 2 that's how it's going to take so the formula it uses for the calculation in the EHRP metric is it's going to use bandwidth is equal to 10 to the power of 7 divided by the least bandwidth now in this scenario it is 64000 if I take this 1 1.5 1 1.5 and 64 and then multiplied by 256 it's going to generate the overall bandwidth and that overall bandwidth it is going to use in the metric calculation and then the same thing happens with the delay also it's going to see the sum of all the delays which means in my scenario it will be 2000 2000 2000 it's going to be 6000 and then divided by 10 multiplied by 256 this will be the overall delay from a to d now again the metric calculation is automatically done by the ehrp protocol we don't need to really uh, worry much on that but this is the default uh, calculation method which is used by normal EHRP or the classic EHRP now because of these formulas now there is a there are some basic drawbacks with this classic EHRP metric if you if you remember the formula what we discussed it's going to be 10 to the power of 7 divided by the least bandwidth and multiplied by 256 now which means uh, in case if you am using one gig link uh, probably my my cost will come around 2560 and if I'm using 10 gig link so my cost is going to come around 256 and it's going to use the same formula which means it, it's not going to differentiate between whether it's a 10 gig link or 100 gig link so both the links will be treated equally and if it might install both the routes in the routing table if the metric comes equal so now there is no differentiation of the traffic above uh, no, no differentiation of the bandwidth about 10 gig so about 10 gig and 10 gig will be treated as the same so that is one of the major drawback with the classic EHRP metric and also with the same delay also like bandwidth and delay are used and similar way here if, if I'm using one gig link probably the delay comes around 10 microseconds and then even if you're using 10 gig link it's going to be the same 100 gig link also it's going to be the same so the, the major, major drawback with the classic EHRP is these, these metric calculations do not scale if you have a bandwidth of about 10 gig or 1 gig, something like that. So all the links about this link speed will be treated as the same. same. They get the same metric calculation or the same cost. Now this drawback has been overcome in the new EHRP name mode configurations. So that's what we call as wider metric. Now, when, when we say EHRP wide metric, which is supported in the name mode, and it's going to use 64-bit metric rather than using a 32-bit metric. So in case of classic EHRP, we are going to use 32-bit metric, whereas in case of wider metric, it's going to use 64 bits, whereas whatever the issues we have just seen, it's it's been fixed here. So it's going to scale 
for high speed links. So that's one of the major enhancement in the EHRP matrix and we call it as a wider matrix or wide matrix. Now again the comp composite matrix calculation will be uh, the K1 into K1 plus K3 where K1 multiplied by minimum throughput or the minimum bandwidth we can say and then the K3 K K1 plus K3 plus delay that's what uh, K3 represents the delay value. So the minimum throughput again uh, to get the minimum throughput it is going to use a separate formula here 10 to the power of 7 multi, uh, multiplied by 65,536 divided by bandwidth and the latency the latency will be calculated with a different formulas if the link is below 1 gig link it's going to use this formula delay multiplied by 65,536 divided by 10 if it is above it's going to use this formula so that overall overall latency is calculated based on the link speeds again so if it is above 1 gig it's going to use this formula to to calculate the overall delay on that particular link and this EHRP metric is automatically, wider metric is automatically enabled once you start running the name mode configurations. And also this metric calculation is backward compatible with, with classic EHRP. So if you're running a classic EHRP on the router one and on the router four, still it's going to uh, support, the router one is going to support the wider metric, but whereas the router four, which is running a classic EHRP, it's going to support the traditional a normal a route metric which is 32 bit one and the formula there's a formula which it uses k1 into bandwidth minimum throughput the overall formula and if i go with the default k values now there is a k6 introduced in the in the wider metric where the k6 is going to add some additional values for the future use so right now we are not going to use any k6 values as of now but it's, it's something for the future use we still use k1 to k5 values so the overall metric or the cost calculated will be the formula based on K1 multiplied by minimum throughput plus K3 multiplied by total latency. So the latency is nothing but the delay here. The naming uh, naming has been slightly changed. We call it as a latency here, whereas the bandwidth is referred as throughput instead of referred as a bandwidth. Now for verifying, you can go to the command line uh, on the router two here. I'm running, if I give show IP, show IP protocols. Now you can see the EHRP metric version is 64 bit and you can see the metric weight. It's going to show you K6 value as well. And if I, if I give show IP route EHRP, I can see the metric values. Uh, th these values are generally calculated based on these formulas. Uh, 